Pants Outdoors here. Uh, today what we're going to do is look over my day pack. Um, there's been a ton of videos online, bug out bags, survival kits, you name it. Uh, what today we're going to be doing is uh, looking at a standard day pack. Now this isn't, uh, this isn't a video where I'm going to tell you this is what you need to carry, this is what you don't need to carry. Today what we're going to be looking at is what I personally carry. Uh, now what you're going to carry in your daily carry bag is going to be different from what I carry in mine, but for beginners this is going to be a great start for you. Uh, first what we're going to do is start with the bag. Uh, for a day hiker, day pack, what you're going to want is just a simple small bag. You don't want something that's going to be too heavy, you don't want something that you're going to overload by putting too much crap in it. Uh, what you need is something small, easy to carry, and secure. Um, let's go ahead and begin. This one didn't come with a waist strap, so I went ahead and added that on there. That, that helps me stabilize the pack itself. Uh, what I uh, like to have is a nice secure type pack. I don't like it bouncing around while I'm hiking. Um, first pocket we're going to go over is the front pocket. Uh, This here is a small hand knife, uh, something simple, uh, really, really easy to use, something that's not too bulky. This is a great knife, uh, comes with a neat little whistle on here, rescue whistle, uh, so it doubles as kind of a survival knife, I would suppose. I do carry a 9mm with me a lot of the time. Uh, I live in an area where there's wolves. Uh, some some bear, not really uh, anything that I've ever run into, but uh, it doesn't hurt to always have a little extra ammunition with you. This is a nine millimeter ammunition. A little heavy, but uh, pack itself doesn't weigh too much. The stuff I have in it doesn't weigh too much, so I keep it in there just, just in case. Uh, I have a small, small jar of Carmex. Uh, this Carmex, it, it comes in handy, you know, you use it on your lips, of course, but, uh, you know, if you if you take this Carmex and you take a cotton ball or cotton swab and you just rub this stuff in there real good and, and then uh, kind of tuft, tuft up the cotton ball, use your flint striker, it's going to go right up. Any petroleum product in a, uh, any petroleum product in a cotton ball is going to go right up. Uh, I have a bandana. Um, I actually have several bandanas in here. It's a little bit of redundancy, but it never hurts to have too many bandanas. Uh, I have, I want to say this is about 12 feet of cordage. This is uh, paracord 550, uh, actual 550 paracord. I, I bought this at a local sporting goods store. Uh, good to have this around with you. Uh, never, never hurts to have too much cordage. I have a small flashlight. Uh, this is just a uh, cheapy flashlight I picked up on Amazon. I think they were on sale for like two bucks so I just jumped on it because it was cheap. Uh, this is a small button compass. It came with the uh, little knife sharpener that I bought. Uh, just something I threw in there. Have an extra one in there. Uh, I keep a pen and pencil and a small notepad. Now, I don't know about you guys, but while I'm hiking, I tend to do a lot of thinking. I don't bring uh, headphones with me, listen to music while I'm hiking or anything like that. It kind of defeats the purpose. So, you know, every once in a while you might have, a, might have an epiphany and want to write it down. So, always good to keep a notebook and pen and paper with you. I have a pair of thin gloves. Uh, now, this is uh, a summer bag. I, I don't... I don't really do a lot of winter hiking around here. Sometimes up in the mountains it uh, can get a little deep and just really haven't gotten into it. Uh, uh, but I do have some thin mechanics gloves. They do come in handy for uh, breaking breaking small twigs and things like that if you want to start a small campfire or something. Uh, so I keep those in my day pack. Uh, let me see what else is in here. I do believe that does it for my front pocket. Now there is a small zipper pocket here. And there it is, another bandana. I told you I have several of them in here. Uh, there's another bandana. I have a, another small uh, another small pocket knife. Uh, this one here is a buck knife. Uh, it's pretty cheap. Uh, buck knife is a good brand. I do prefer buck knives over other knives. They make very good product. Uh, 
Here is a small headlamp. Uh, this can come in handy if your height goes a little bit into the evening and you just don't feel uh, feel like you have enough view. Uh, also, this this height pack here is is also a survival kit, so so it doesn't have uh, doesn't hurt to have enough lighting in your kit. Now we're to the main compartment. You know, for for such a small bag, this thing holds quite a bit of stuff. I've been uh, pretty impressed with it. I have a small package of wet wipes. Um, I, I do like to keep a small roll of toilet paper with me, but uh, you know, when nature calls, wet wipes come in handy. Really help you clean up. You don't uh, don't end up with monkey butt two hours later. So does not hurt to have the wet wipes. Another bandana. Many uses for bandanas, folks. I uh, cannot stress, keep a lot of bandanas with you. If you get hot, you can wet it down, put it on your head. Uh, they, uh, I mean, if you get cut, you can, you can cover up a wound with it. You can also, if you needed to, you could uh, sift water with it. Uh, but I do have some other items in here that uh, are good for cleaning water. I have uh, a clear plastic bag. Um, it really, it's not large enough to hold a, a substantial amount of water. Uh, when I do, when I do go on hikes, I do have my uh, two liter. I have a two liter water bottle that I keep around. Uh, Southern Idaho gets very hot. Uh, it never hurts to have too much water, uh, although it does get kind of heavy if you if you have way too much. Uh, but I do like to have a small clear plastic bag. You never know what what it can come in handy for. Uh, this is a Shema. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but uh, not too worried about the, how I pronounce it. Um, this can come in very handy if it uh, gets a little sunny, a little hot. You can you can cover up with it. Also, it's it's rather warm, so if at night you have to cover up uh, for some reason, that that uh, does come in handy. Um, I've got my uh, SOL Survivor Survival Outdoors Longer. Uh, this here is a bivy. Um, this is for emergencies. This, uh, those space blankets, they're good, but they're very thin, they're very delicate, uh, real easy to rip and tear them. These things are a little heavier, a little more, uh, a little more durable, plus they're, they're reusable. Uh, I, I do like these because they, they can uh, save your life. You know, one of, the, one of the dangers about being lost outdoors is being exposed to the elements. Uh, so this thing, it can uh, make a great wind block. It can also serve as an emergency shelter, so so this does come in pretty handy if if you ever needed to. Never had to use one, but I'd rather have it, not need it, and need it, and not have it. I have a personal first aid kit. This is a one to two people first aid kit. Uh, I bought this from a uh, local dealer here in Twin Falls, Aaron Keys plug. Um, Keys to Safety. They have a small store here in town. Um, really good deal on these. I've seen them in sports stores. They're rather expensive. So, you know, I, I got a good deal on it from him, so I bought it from him. Uh, I did add some other items in here. I'm not going to go through it right now just because I may do that in another video if this one receives enough likes. Um, I also have another kit here. This is a survival kit. I have all of the elements of survival minus food uh, and... I think actually I think I pretty much covered everything in this other than food. I do have a photo of this. I, I will uh, put a link on the on the video to to a photo of what I have in here. Uh, very handy kit, very small kit, but this thing could save my life if I ever needed it. I have a small six by eight tarp. Uh, not a very heavy tarp, uh, but this could uh, this could be used to erect a small shelter if I needed to. Always good to have a small tarp with you. I have a small mess kit. Uh, I do have some some items in this small mess kit. Not very many. Uh, a little a little Sierra cup. Uh, this here is a knife sharpener. It uh, has a carbine steel and it also has a ceramic knife sharpener on here. Uh, also handy little uh, uh, fire striker here. Uh, this thing works really good with this uh, with this carbine here. Uh, very handy. Uh, this isn't the only one I have in my kit. Uh, redundancy, once again, I do have another one inside of my kit here. Um, what do I have? Uh, a bottle of potable water, uh, a little bit of water, water uh, treatment pills there, uh, iodine. 
taste like butt, but they make the water drinkable. Uh, what else do I have? A sheet of aluminum foil, a box of matches. Uh, however, these uh, matches, they're not waterproof, so they're not really something that I can count on. Uh, say I fall on a creek and float down the creek or something, but I do have them in a plastic bag, so it offers a little protection. Uh, also, I have these little uh, uh, soap strips here. They're, they're not very large. They don't take up a lot of space, but, uh, you know, who likes eating with dirty hands, right? Um, my final item. Nope, I have two more items. I lie. Uh, this here, this is a small hatchet, very small hatchet. Uh, this is made by Gerber. Never been used. I can't wait to use it. I bought this over the winter and it, uh, it fits perfectly in my day pack. I, uh, I kind of like it. it. It has this little, uh, little knife in the back here. Uh, seems pretty sharp, looks pretty durable. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's full tang because it's a pretty stout little guy. Uh, but uh, this thing's pretty cool. I uh, can't wait to use it. You know, uh, one of the one of the most important tools in the American American wilderness is a hatchet. Uh, it's a very versatile tool. Uh, cannot wait to use that thing. It's pretty cool. And last but not least, I have a poncho. Weather in the mountains is very unpredictable, so a poncho is a very important tool. Uh, it can be used to build a shelter. It can also be used as a wearable shelter. Uh, you know, if, if you're wet, you're going to get cold. This thing could save your life. Oh, 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 I am a liar. I have one more pocket, and it has one of my most important survival tools, a standard compass. You know, a standard compass, if you don't know how to use it and you love the outdoors, you need to learn how to use it. Yeah, this thing will save your life. Whether you have a map or not, if you have a general idea of what is where, this thing will help you get back to civilization. Uh, standard compass. That is everything that is in my day pack. Uh, now, this looks like a lot of stuff and looks like a small pack. There's a lot of room in this thing when I have all this crap in here. Uh, you know, that leaves me a lot of room for food. Uh, when, I, when I do go hiking, I like to bring the uh, freeze-dried goods because all I have to do is boil a little bit of water, put it in the package, let it sit for a few minutes, I have a good lunch. Um, not a very large pack, a lot of life-saving items. You know, it, it, it doesn't hurt to do your research. Uh, you know, one of the most important things to outdoor survival is your mind. If you, if you train yourself and you learn all the information that you need to know, uh, you're going to survive in a, in a survival situation. 30 bucks, Walmart. Pretty cheap, pretty durable. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to break it in, but uh, I'm pretty happy with what I have in here. I, uh, I think this is going to be a great addition to my, to my outdoor life. It's going to be good for a day pack, and also it's going to be good to uh, strap on the ATV when I'm riding around. Uh, you know, I, I uh, hope you all like the video. I plan on doing more if this one gets enough hits on it. So uh, if you have any requests, go ahead and put them down in the comments. Uh, and then again, appreciate you watching. If you, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. We'll see you next time. Thank you.